Hello and welcome back once more to the third episode of Blanket Board. <laughs> My name is A and I am your GM for this Avatar Legends campaign. Uh, friends, once again, decide amongst yourselves who is giving us a short recap of last session. So we, we landed in our hot air balloon at the, the gate of Kobe and immediately gave away the hot air balloon to some random person <laughs> there. <laughs> Um, it doesn't have enough gas in it. He might die. It's fine. Anyway, we went into this boat city where all the boats uh, or village that are attached to each other to find Kavik. Yes. Yes. Kavik, um, who's was right at the end to be annoying. Um, we got all the way there. Kavik was is formerly of the the Northern Water Tribe and was banished, but we convinced them to take us there anyway even though that's a risky move we decided to leave at dawn so we all left and then someone was following us we ran away i fell on my face and it it was my parents they were not best pleased with me for having left and not told them i was leaving but you know that was all handled well and I was fine. And then... <laughs> um, the next day we set off. And we realised that um, Kavik shouldn't be seen by the uh, Earth Kingdom barricade. And so they went under the boat. And then I realised I shouldn't be seen. And also, probably Chen shouldn't be seen. <laughs> so, us three are under the boat, with Flint on the boat. <laughs> the most reliable plan. character. Yeah. Yeah. Plan. Just yeah. an earthbender <laughs> driving a boat by themselves with a sack full of sand. Um, <laughs> that is <laughs> the situation. <laughs> mm-hmm. Very good, very good. Nothing can go wrong. No, <laughs> absolutely nothing. This is going to be smooth sailing all the way to the Northern Water Trove. <laughs> Anyways, now that that's out of the way, um, we join our unlikely crew aboard or under <laughs> <laughs> this uh, humble Earth Kingdom uh, fishing ship, really. Um, and the deck is fully empty, apart from Flint kind of stood, just stood there. <laughs> and the camera pans down into the sea and reveals, attached to the bottom of the hull of this ship, <laughs> three Full humans <laughs> <laughs> using water bending to breathe underwater. <laughs> um, as we go back up, we see two speedboats arriving quite rapidly with two people on each uh, of them, about to, like, getting closer and closer, just about to reach the ship. Is there anything anyone wants to do right before the their people arrive? No? Cool. In that case, the two boats are going to come right in like close, close contact with your boat. Um, you're going to like, you have to slow down. You have to stop yeah. Yeah. going I'll, forward at that point. I'll, and, uh, the, um, I'll close the sail and set her on neutral. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just going just gonna to let the waves take. Yeah. And uh, as you do that, the one of the four people on the two boats is going to like grab a megaphone and... Yeah. You are entering disputed waters. State your business or turn around. My business? Uh, to head to the Northern Water Tribe. That's my business! Why? Honestly, never seen it before. Kind of curious. You know okay. a place with no earth? That's gonna be cool. They're like whispering to one another like that. This dude sounds sus. <laughs> and uh, everyone, including the people below who aren't hearing any of this, roll a trick. I'm gonna be rolling for Kavik and I'm gonna be taking 
the average of all of this to see how you do. I got a minus one to creativity. Creativity. That's Did my they best work bit. On the bar oh, this was a smart plan. That was a smart plan. That's a ten. Nice. Got a six. I got a four. Fuck! <laughs> Good thing we're underneath the boat. Kavik also got a ten. Which nice. is what's saving you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes! Got eight, eight plus two, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> They're like whispering to one another, like, that's weird, but I guess I, like, we're not meant to be stopping tourism, I guess. Yeah. But you can and, tell. And he's got, like, like, the clear, like, he's, he's clearly looking like someone that's slightly deranged, like, kind of crazy, you know, messy hair, <laughs> short sleeves and shorts going right up to the north and <laughs> wash yep. it down. Like just... they'd rather have you not be in the Earth Kingdom anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our problem anymore. It's not our problem anymore. <laughs> um, but you can tell that they're not, they're just low level, like, threat. Um, Prevention. They're meant to just evaluate yeah. the level of threat. Yeah. They can't really make that important of a decision so they look around like they're chatting to one another and then eventually the one with the microphone brings it back up even though like super close to one another now they're still yeah. yelling through the megaphone and they just go we're gonna we're gonna bring you to general beyond where's that it's the, a barn <laughs> the ship the, the big ship over there there's like one ship it's oh, right. so much yeah. bigger than yeah. all the other ships uh -huh. yeah okay Sure. Please follow us. I'll do my best. <laughs> I turn around and like with the very little knowledge I have about this thing, I'm just gonna try and sail it <laughs> around. Okay. Um, push your luck, I guess. Did Kavik <laughs> ever sort of explain what how to drive this boat? I don't remember. I, I would have assumed that he he would have at least said, you know, this is to push the wind through, and this is to like. Do it because I doubt okay. that Kavik. I, I, I doubt that they would have left their lives like. <laughs> okay, tool. in that case, rely on your skills and training. I guess I'll uh, be nice. It is more. It is more luck, but I will let you rely on your skills and training. Ooh, that's good. Uh, that is uh, ten plus. Oh, zero. Yeah, ten. <laughs> cool. Four and six. You go flawlessly, um, but as you start moving. It gets a bit rough below water level, so uh, the three of you are going to do a rely on your skills and training as well okay. to see if the water bubble holds, to see if you stay hung up to the side of the boat, to see if Kavik doesn't just drop. I missed the box. Ooh! That's okay, a ten. Kavik is perfectly fine. Kavik is like used to this. <laughs> <laughs> Kavik is out Truly, of the sea Kavik has all never the looked time. so good. <laughs> Kavik just has full on hair mermaid. Because they just, surf just yeah. without a surfboard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they just walk. Full on, full on mermaid look. You know, <laughs> hair bellowing. That's what it is. Flawless, okay. flawless okay, swimming. Kavik looks so good, I can't see them. But I love them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so beautiful. Um, I got an eight, so. Okay, so you're all fine. You're all fine. <laughs> Wait, what did you get, Bo? I got a ten. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, So you're all fine. You hang on, even though it starts to kind of, like, become a bit rough. Um, the boat sails and gets to the main, like, this large warship, um, just in the middle of the water. And, uh, Flint, you get escorted down yeah. by the four guards that were on the ship. And yeah. you see them, you see one of them run ahead. Yeah. As, as, as we're, like as we're going around, I'm looking like for like tourist look, and everybody's like, wow, like, I mean, my my boat costs a, a pretty penny, but I'm assuming that this one costs a lot. <laughs> At this, you can tell like two of them are fully just being soldiers, and yeah. one of them is like really young, and you know, the helmet is kind of too big and sort of like falls on the head, and they have to like push it back out very so often and they like they really excitedly want to talk back to you but their like superior supposedly next to them just goes like calm down you go up these like like many flights of stairs like too many stairs for a boat really um and you end up in the cabins 
the not cabin, the captain's quarters. Uh, not the quarters, the like the main area. You know, the like extra bit with mm. windows everywhere and like all the command control panels and stuff. Um, and uh, you see this uh, woman who's got her back to you. Uh, she's six foot five. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Every woman is six foot five. <laughs> Every single woman is going to be six foot five forever. No, she's not six foot five, but she does um, have like. Um, have, have you seen Encanto? <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. Luisa. <laughs> okay. Buff lady. Luisa so. from Encanto. Yeah. yeah. Big buff That's lady. That's who she is. Got it. Got it. Um, <laughs> and uh, she t- she turns around, and Flint, you have. I'm gonna let you figure out two ways of making this general, this woman who is in touch with like everything that goes on within the Earth Kingdom. You're going to get two tries for her to not recognize you as the petty criminal that has a bounty, mm-hmm. a bounty on his head. Mm-hmm. And whilst um, you think about that, we're going to cut back to the other three underwater. Uh, the boat has now stopped. Kavik is going to like float towards you and like join their air bubble with yours in a non-sexy way. <laughs> But don't you have to, you have to be pretty close to each other? You don't use so much resources making the air bubble really big. And, I don't um, know. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> and uh, Kavik is going to be like, so should we... I can't... I mean, I don't want to wait here. Do you want to try to get out? I mean, what? No. What? Why? Because we don't know how long this could take. I feel like we should hang on for at least five minutes before we just okay, pop okay. up in Earth Kingdom waters surrounded by their ships. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna no. I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go back to my side then. If that's if that's alright. I'm and I'm deferring to Bell. And I swim. Not I. It's not me. And <laughs> <laughs> Kavik swims away. So we get to the other side. Uh, and we cut back to um, the main. The main. Uh, command center? I don't know. Sure, command center works. Command center. Mm-hmm. Um, what I'll do is. Look at me, I'm six, I'm six foot five. Going <laughs> 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 off the <laughs> Just kidding. I'll, um, <laughs> uh, I think what Flint would do is just looks as clueless as he often does. Um, you know, just you know, he's still rolling with the thing that he's just going over to sightsee, essentially. Just curious. Okay. Uh, in that case, roll a. I'll let you decide between a trick and an intimidate. Um, I think I'll go trick mm-hmm. because I, I feel like he's just full on in the the con mode right now. Um, he's just like looking around, like, "Ooh, she's fancy. This is pretty." Uh, and I get it with creativity, which is fantastic. Uh, that's a five, ten, twelve. That's creativity. Because <laughs> <laughs> creativity. So good at playing dumb. So good at playing dumb. <laughs> Okay. The best. Um, so she's fully kind of like, she looks at the guards and is like, "Why, are you, why did you bring him to me? Like, let him, let him go. Who fucking cares?" And uh, at this, there's like a guard next to her that kind of whispers something in her ear that you can't quite hear. And now she's like, "What's your name again?" Me, Boulder. Boulder. Where are you yes. from? Uh, this is little fishing village. Uh, I live with my family by the frozen river. Yeah. By the frozen river, you say? Yeah. I live there with my, like, how many are we? 16 siblings, give or take? You lose count after a few. At that, she, like, turns around, looks at the guard. She like tells she's looking down because she's six foot five. <laughs> 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 uh, 
And she like whispers something in his ear, but she looks suspicious again. The mm. god runs off for a bit. It's a nice ship you've got here. Thank you. It's really nice. It's bigger than mine for sure. Yeah. She like looks outside. <laughs> your ship. A little wooden <laughs> boat. It looks yeah. really awful from here. <laughs> yeah. Um, Honestly, I had to save up for quite a bit to get it. But it's nice. It does the job. Mm-hmm. 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 And after, like, a second, uh, the guard runs back in, uh, handing her, uh, like, a piece of paper. Yeah. And she opens it and then shows it to you. And it's yeah. Bo's wanted poster. Do you know her, by any chance? We had a... We heard that maybe she'd gone through a fishing village down the frozen river in the mountains. Uh... I, I, I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I wasn't there for ages. I was... Where was I? You know, you know the, the, the Taiwan mountains? Uh, I went down that way and then up, up to Shanbao. Um, because, you know, sightseeing. It's my holiday. I've been working in the mines for a lot. Uh, so I decided to take a little road trip, you know? And then I heard that, you know, the, the northern... What a tribe, there was no earth, and I thought, oh, a place with no earth, that should be interesting. Um, because, you know, I live in the mountains, and to go to a place that there are no earth, uh, and here we are. Roll trick again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Oh, shit. No! Um, <laughs> plus two, eight. <laughs> okay, that's it. Get that plus two. It was a six, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Um, that she's uh, going to be like, um, okay, you sit here. We're going to just, this is a routine check. We're just going to check Absolutely. your boat, if that's all right. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. If you find a back of dirt, that's because, you know, I miss home. So, you know, that's what that is. Okay. Okay, I'll let, I'll let my, uh, my guards know about that, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. And she then she's going to, like, turn around <laughs> and continue to do her general... Yep things that generals do and i know a lot about the military yeah we know we know this um yeah yeah we, we know army mm -hmm. stuff we know <laughs> army uh, stuff couples, war things couple what things. plate parts of the boat are called we know all of yeah. these things <laughs> yeah. we know all of them what height yeah. women tend to be <laughs> <laughs> um and uh at that, uh, four guards are gonna go and uh, basically look through the boat, and they're not gonna find anything inside, apart from a bag of dirt and like a like a humble living quarters type thing. Um, but as they go out, they are used to waterbenders trying to smuggle things below the boats, and so I'm gonna roll this, so there's still a chance. You I have a question aren't. though. Has it been five <laughs> minutes? <laughs> it has been five minutes. Is Kavik getting antsy again? <laughs> Kavik has been antsy. We can, I thought I fully thought you were gonna wait below the boat, but if you're not, we'll cut back to you. No 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 <laughs> I mean I thought we could go under the other boat. The general's boat. Oh, interesting. And, and I guess I pitched that to Chen because Kavik's on the other side, so we have to talk it. Yeah. I'm gonna fully defer to whatever you think is best as the waterbender here. Okay, I don't actually know that many things though, so you can <laughs> tell me if you think it's a bad idea. No, oh, I trust you. I trust you. Yay! <laughs> cool. <laughs> and I just, I guess, hold your hand and, and we can bob over to, to Kavik and go. We, we we're gonna go under the big boat. In oh, case I take this boat? <laughs> sure. Okay, cool. Um, that's going to be a rely on your skills and training again. For all of us? I mean, mostly for... I mean, I guess... Did you learn how to swim? Because, <laughs> like, the big yeah. boat, to get fully under the big boat is still quite far because of how big it is. Well, you see, Chen's kind of got, like, a muscular, like, functional, like, swimmer's body, and it's not aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> Chen is actually six foot five. So. 
<laughs> so all of these women he's meeting is really is super. It feels very normal. <laughs> he's like, oh my gosh, I can speak. I what? Know I to I? Yeah. <laughs> It's very exciting. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna roll for Kevin. When do I? I could take. Oh wait, my... so am I rolling? Ten, I yes. Roll. Can you swim? Ooh. Yeah. That's so I'm Ruby Roller. Yeah. That's an eleven. That is a ten. Kevin rolled a three. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. shit, woman. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Karak is like distracted by Chen's swimmer body. Right. <laughs> is, Karak is not uh, now perfectly on highlighted swimming. by the water. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it. Still got it. Any chance um, our 10 and 11 make up for Kavik's? I mean, if you explain to me how, I will allow it, yeah. When, when I see Kavik like falling behind or whatever, I just kind of have like a mini water proportion send them. Uh, send them forwards. Yeah, just a I guess. I give him. I give him a little that. wink to Cam. With your eleven and ten. With the <laughs> <Bardic Yeah. inspiration. laughs> okay, inspiration. that's what it is. <laughs> cool. Um, you make it to the bottom of the of the boat, which means that when the guards get here, they don't find anything. The boat is uh, free of. of, of Do we see the I guards guess. check? Uh, do you? I mean, we're all in the situation, but you are like hidden below yeah. water, below the ship. So, unless you roll a twelve, I you probably wouldn't. I'm mm. gonna see. It's gonna be a twelve. <laughs> it's not a twelve. It's a five. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. You're focusing on saving Kavik right now, who's like somehow just not happy underwater for some reason. Um, at this moment, it's cold. It's getting nippy out there. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. This full person mm-hmm. who was brought up in the Northern Water Tribe yeah. finds okay. this water cold. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what it is. It's reminding um, him of his childhood. Tra- reminding them of their childhood. <laughs> and as uh, the three of you kind of gather below this, the huge hole of the boat, kind of waiting um, to hear when the boat might be leaving again or something like that you start hearing a knock on the hall like coming from the inside of the i want to say cockpit but that's not what i mean <laughs> the command center no the no, so the, the boat it goes like this you're held the you, you've put yourself sure i don't know what things are i'm gonna say that's what it is but like you start hearing a a knock um that you would know is Morse code for SOS coming from the middle of the of the ship. I'm gonna let you decide what you do. We're gonna cut back to uh, we're gonna cut back to the command center. Um, the guards are gonna run back up and be like, "All clear, madam. All clear." And the general is gonna look at you and be like, "I guess you'll be on your way, but I'm not sure they'll let you in over there. They don't tend to really like earthbenders that much." That's oh, all right, you know. That's First time for everything, I suppose. I mean, I guess if you need to go back around, come back through like, this exact ship route, and mm-hmm. we'll let you through. All right, that sounds good to me. Cool. Thank you very much, uh, boss lady. You are general. Oh, general, fantastic. Uh, thank you, general. Um, I will be sure to see you probably soon, because. I doubt I'll be very comfortable on the ice, but we'll find out. I'll, I'll, I'll like walk to the door, and then like look around and wait to see if like, am, am I? Are you guys following me? Are we escorting? Are we tangoing? Come on, let's go! And then like just, just <laughs> shuffle away. Cool. So and there's only on. gonna be one. There's only one guard that's gonna escort you, and on is, your way down. Is it the young guard? Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just chatting his ear off cool. all the way He's down. He's so excited. He knows yeah. it's like you know the uh, the queen's guard. They aren't allowed to respond to you, and you can yeah. tell that like. He's on similar orders where he's not meant to interact <laughs> with you at all. But he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm full on like telling really bad jokes and puns, yep. <laughs> like just just trying to break him. I'm like I'm like ah. No, okay. Ah, no, okay. <laughs> like the entire way down. <laughs> and as you get to kind of the the lowest level before the door that opens to get you back to your ship, can you roll and assess the situation, please? Ooh. 
to 11. Oh, incredible. <laughs> How are you all rolling so well? <laughs> well, see, that, that's why you did the test rolls right in the beginning to exactly. check which dice to are behaving. To get rid of the dice. <laughs> yeah, check which <laughs> dice are behaving. <laughs> um, you hear the faint knock, the same that they've been hearing below water. You hear it in here as well. Um, and you also smell a faint smell of cookies. Coming from like the other way, the corridor. So there's the, you've come from a corridor, the door is open to let you back to your ship. And there's a corridor that goes kind of further along and you feel like it comes from down there. Um, I, I kind of like stop like dead track, like mid sentence. It's like, <laughs> you guys have cookies? Ooh. Um. Any chance I could possibly get a cookie? The guard is like... <laughs> it does it. Runs off in the other <laughs> direction really quickly. Now, you rolled an 11, mm -hmm. right? On the yeah. assessor situation. These are your mum's cookies. You know this smell. Oh, you bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. not, not, not to you. To, not to you. To whatever captain this is. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, he's gone. I'm gonna sh walk straight up. You've got like about thirty seconds, but mm -hmm. before like a, mm -hmm. an army of guards come back down. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run towards the direction mm -hmm. and find and see if I can find any quarters with the helmet and uh, and and uniform that they're wearing. Cool. Uh, assess the situation, I guess. Is what it would be. Oh, actually, it's luck. Yeah, just push your luck instead. Luck. 13. <laughs> <laughs> Did you roll a 12? Two sixes. Two sixes plus one. <laughs> we got hot days today. <laughs> no one messes with my dice. mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, ba like, the oh first God. door you find is yeah. just, it's, it's the <laughs> armory that has all of the suits for everyone. Like, all of mm -hmm. the... I will, Every equipment um, of all sizes, you would you will look exactly like someone from the ship. Yeah. So what I'll do is um, I'll do exactly like probably what as I've done in any breaking and entries and try to look like the staff and and like dress up. I will even like brush my beard so like it looks tidy. Uh, put a helmet on so that it covers my messy hair uh, and like brush as much of the dirt away as I can using my earth bending to like pull it towards like like you know those like um, magnets with those little magnetic sands. That when you drew it, just like all co like collects. That's what happens to pop of my hand, and then I just like hide it in my sleeve. So I've got like little sleeve earth dirts, um, and then very like straight back marching towards the smell. Okay, right before we deal with that, we're gonna cut back to below the ship. So you've heard this SOS. You don't know who it is. I couldn't like. I would. I was. Toying with the idea of texting you what it was, and then I was like, no, this, this is complicated. It doesn't need to be this complicated. Um, but yeah, so just pretend you don't know who it is, but you're hearing like a faint SOS going from inside the ship. Jen, what do we do? What do we do? Are there any windows? Like, can we see? No, it's fully the, like, this is where the hold on ships would be. It's at the, the furthest down you can go because it doesn't need windows it's prisoners that go there do we help them my um, we could wait until a flint how are we gonna know what flint's doing we're underwater with flint. that could be flint that could be flint <laughs> that's probably flint <laughs> <laughs> Kavik is like watching you two bicker in a different bubble, so not hearing anything. <laughs> 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 they just go, Oi! <laughs> Can you hear the the tapping? It's Morse code for SOS. SOS. We think it's probably Flint. Oh. I mean, honestly, the fact that we got to here is impressive. <laughs> so uh, that Kavik is like gone already, worried that like something bad has happened. Like 
it's their fault again that something bad has happened. Okay. I guess we follow Kavik. Cool. Uh, you're going to get to the door right as uh, Flint is going to come out of that room fully dressed in guard wear. Can we tell it's Flint from where we are? No. I, I You're not even gonna give us a roll to see whether we can <laughs> recognize Flint. No, Flint rolled a twelve. My <laughs> Flint, give us a wink or something. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I suppose I come out and turn around, um, and I mean, if I see you, is... God, I'm gonna hide. So no, like it's how, literally like a simultaneous oh, you okay. walk in out of the door. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hi guys. So. My mum might be on the board. Come on. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> what are you... Why are you dressed like that? How... Where Wait, can we you get don't you walk dressed like that? We, you don't... Sh you shouldn't walk around someone's ship not dressed like their crew. Get some clothes. Come on. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess we go get dressed. <laughs> yep. Because Smith rolled a 12. <laughs> 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 Is there any, oh. like... Oh, wait. Hang on. Official guard backpacks? Because I feel like we need Hang our on. clothes. Here's my question. Mm -hmm. This 100% counts as trespassing. You think? <laughs> uh, I have to roll. Because whenever I indulge a bad habit with a friend, yeah. as per my roguish bad habits, um, I have to shift my balance towards friendship and roll with friendship on a hit. You and your friends pull off and grow closer. There we go. So what are you trying, roll, like roll specifically, what are you trying to do? Uh, I'm trying to make sure that we all blend in to the guard situation um, so that we can head down to wherever I can smell my mother's cooking from. Cool. Go ahead. <sighs> this is where I needed that 12. <laughs> Because I have to roll you with got, friendship. To be fair, you got everyone's... Like, you got everyone hidden away, at least. Like, everyone is yeah. wearing a disguise. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I have to shift towards friendship. So, that goes down to zero, because I wasn't survival before. Mm -hmm. So, I'm on zero. And then roll plus zero and just see what happens. This is going to be fun. Uh, six and a two. That's eight. On a hit, you and your friends pull it off and grow closer. Uh, and each, uh, and each of you makes the other inspired. Cool. So we are actually inspired. Yeah, we mark inspired. Yeah. So I basically said like, my mum's on the boat. We're we're taking her. Your Let's mum's. Go. Yeah. Your mum from, from the mountains. Mhm. Mm uh, apparently, they've been in my town. What is it about for... mums locating <laughs> us? <laughs> Uh, I, I turned to, to you, I was like, apparently, they've been in my town looking for you. So, let's go, Bo. Uh, and I travel along. Can I... This corridor is, it's like right near the door to, uh, like, our boat, right? Yeah. Can I just really quick grab our clothes and throw it onto our boat? Because I feel like when we get to the Water Kingdom, people will need them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you do that for free because cool. I'm nice. So generous. <laughs> After t having you deal with your mums twice in a row. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, basically, as soon as everyone is dressed up and this interaction has happened, like 10 guards come running down, um, led by the, the, small, the small man from before. Um, I don't know why all men must be small, but it's... Uh, <laughs> well, it has, it, you have to counterbalance. <laughs> yeah, you have to counterbalance, you know. Six foot, it has to be 6'5 women and like 4'5 men. Does just that to counterbalance. mean that Kavik is average height? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> comfortably a 5'8-ish. <laughs> um, and the, like, the young one is like, oh, And immediately, like, assumes that you're of higher seniority than... Mm -hmm. Seniority? No. no that's, that is the right word, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is! Okay. It. I know this language. I know it well. He turns around and is like, um... Right. What are you waiting for? Let's go. 
Go, 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 go. Uh, kind of like everyone is now following him. you, assuming yeah. that you're the leader. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and I, I, I've got this like I'm not running. I've just got this like power walk of like yeah. wide, strong steps. You're strutting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, again. I am. I am fully cocky that I've pulled this off, and like you know, my <laughs> full-on impersonating mode going on. Don't make, it's don't make forward. Chan have a crush on Flint again. Don't <laughs> do this to me. I mean, I'm he's cleaned walk. up. He's cleaned <laughs> up. His beard is tidy. He's not muddy. <laughs> he's in his element. Yeah. Like this Ooh. is the. I also, I also remember all the stories that you told on the hot air balloon about your mom in the village. So you say your mom's captured, and Chen is immediately like, "That's my bestie. We need to save her. Like, I'm already in. Whatever it takes." <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Uh, you walk, you power walk in front of this like now like fourteen <laughs> guards, uh, following you as if you absolutely knew what you were doing. Um, mm. And you you find without any struggle again. This is the twelve. It's working for you still to this point um, because I'm not sure how I meant to deal with nat 20s in this game, so I'm giving it all to you until this scene is sort of resolved. Um, I need to ride it for as long as I can, because as soon as we yeah. get to the other side of this trench, it's all going to be what twos <laughs> all the way. But you get to the end of the corridor, and like you, uh, it's just one of those submarine doors that you have to turn. Um, it, it's a bit heavy at first, but you get it. You're used yeah. to this. Um, and you, open, you push open the door, and it's basically a prison a bunch of prison cells that are on like three layers upwards with a big corridor down the middle and there's people like crammed in the first like three on the right and then there's not it's not filled but the prison cells that are occupied are kind of jammed with people mm -hmm. uh i'll just look around and see if i can recognize anyone yeah, so you continue walking forward. I'm assuming you're still pretending that you're like. What yeah, is absolutely, going on absolutely. Here? Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking um, around, like check the check, the, uh, check the cells, see if there's been any breaches, um, and then just walking straight forward. And as you walk further and further along to the end of the corridor, you find that on the furthest left one on the side, on your level, um, people have been like they've stuck themselves to the front of the the like bars and you would know that usually when prisoners do this is because they're hiding what's happening behind them yeah. further along the cell mm -hmm. uh, do i recognize any of those prisoners uh yes they're all people from your village mm -hmm. uh i move up real close and i was like move away from the bars and then like give them a wink <laughs> they don't recognize you <laughs> I, I lean in real close and like check that there's no one because I've told him to check the the first few. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of grab grab the bar, move real close, like guys, work with me on this, mm -hmm. and I give like the crazy look. <laughs> and that and all of your like I'm... seventeen brothers <laughs> peek up from like the third row back. <laughs> and like, oh my god! Oh my and god. now it's like guys, move away from the bar. <laughs> they all move backwards mm -hmm. slowly, and then I but they I, I keep this like this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, but they move yeah. backwards. I, I turn around, I was like, "Right, no breaches on this side. Who's in charge of the keep?" And then I like move forward. Okay. Uh, at that, there's just like this uh, this dude, just this dude in the back, who's <laughs> happy for once that he doesn't have to deal with this mess. Who like comes up to you and is like, uh, "Yes, sir." I'm in charge. What happened here? Where's the smell coming from? Nothing, nothing, sir. He's fully got cookie crumbs all over his beard. <laughs> nothing, nothing, I, sir. I, I reach down, pick a crumb. Unacceptable. Keys. Oh, what is, what is this, sir? Sorry, sir. I, Keys. this is not mine. Uh, I say I just really stern at keys. Roll intimidate for this one. You're not getting this one for free. <laughs> I know, I, I know. I see, I'll see how far sure. I can push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, intimidate. It's after the roll. Okay. You don't have to decide right now because it, it does cost a 15 to help. 
Seven. Oh, seven. <laughs> just barely. Um, it just means that, like, you succeed, but he's not going to fully back down. Yeah. Like, he's just going to be like, he's going to, he is going to give you the keys, but he's going to mm-hmm. stay here. Mm-hmm. So I take the keys and go. I turn around, look at Kavik in, in the way, and it's like, you take over. <laughs> you. Go and clean up. We can't let the general see you with crumbs. So, yes. And you see he's like kind of ashamed and he's like muttering to himself like, oh, oh my God, what did I do? What have I done? God, he's, he's running off. Uh, right. Kavik is, go- Kavik I, is going to be like, okay, everyone. <laughs> yeah. And I'll turn to the rest of them as like, right, there seems to be no breaches, just a snack break. Back to your port. Back to your quarters. No, no, back to your station. That's the word. That's the word. Uh, back, back to, to your sh- quarters, sta- quarters station. Yeah. Uh, Command centers. <laughs> <laughs> Words, we know them. It's fine. <laughs> it's like, uh, back to your stations. There seems to be no issue. I'll keep an eye out for now. Move along. <laughs> Gavik is like so excited. <laughs> Very relatable. Chen is like, I see you. You're getting into character. I, I Absolutely. Um. Chop, chop. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> Just through the door. And as soon as all the other guards have made it out, um, Kavik is going to quickly close the door to here and like do the... Mm-hmm. And, and I'll head, I'll head straight We know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I'll head out. I'll head straight back to the end um, and be like, guys, really? All at once? <laughs> as soon as about you, this. <laughs> as soon as you start talking, you hear, hey! And it's the young, the young guard who mm. was hidden behind the door, who's now in the room with you, and who's going mm. like, hey, who are you? Who are you? This is, this is my ship. <laughs> um, is he close to the door? Yeah. Can I just stand in front of the door? Yeah. <laughs> the door is closed. The door, yeah. is, the door, closed. Is, but the door yeah. has been like closed. Um, like it would take yeah. a while I, to reopen it. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. I go um, and just like throw my arms around him and start walking towards the end of the corridor where my family is on the in the cells. Uh, Kavak, do you? Would you mind? Kavik doesn't understand what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> just can you can you just open this cell, please? You've got the keys. Yes. Can I keys, please? Keys. Why would, why does oh Kavik does have the keys? <laughs> yeah. No, can, yes. Can I, sorry. Can I have can I have the keys? Uh, yep. Thank course. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I I open um the the cell with uh my my family essentially. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so guys, 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 quiet, quiet. Now, <laughs> now, I can't get you all out without us being in a lot of trouble. Shh, shh, shh. Um, however, uh, and I take the helmet off the, the the guy, and I turn to like my younger sibling. One of you might be able to help. Uh, and I throw him in there, uh, and he's like, right, he's going to replace one of you. Um... Me, 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 and, me, and then there's like your, your five <laughs> youngest brothers just go me, me, yeah. me, me, me. Yeah. It's like, nope, no, nope, definitely not. Uh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jade, Jade will do it. Um, Jade. Yes. You're the most responsible of the younger lot, so I think I think it'll be wise. Yes. Um, right. Um, is Ma here? And uh, as you say that, they all kind of like open. Like a sort of like, just a <laughs> sea of people, people. Yeah. in a corridor, and right at the back, somehow having found an oven <laughs> in this <laughs> place, uh, fully just like not bothered yeah. is uh, your mother, just like. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Ma, hi, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll come in. Oh, look at me in a uniform. Hi, son. <laughs> <laughs> right, the cane, it's back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, um, so, here's the plan. 
I need to get these folk to the Water Kingdom. Oh, don't you look nice. Thank you. So, um, there's a lot Who of Who are gods. these? These young, young oh, you and... Know, the fellow runaways. Less young. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> runaways and vagabonds, you know, the usual. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> Um, the usual. <laughs> I've heard so much about you, Chen. I've, I wish oh, that Chen. we were meeting in better circumstances. Mm -hmm. Flint said Oh, told these us. are great. Do you want a cookie? I would love a cookie. <laughs> this is the most delicious cookie. Can I have a you've cookie? Ever had. <laughs> oh, of course. And she fully hands you like a plate of just out of the oven cookies. I take two, but I try to make it look like I've only taken one by putting them in the <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> And like as you're carrying this plate and like picking stuff up, there's like hands coming from everywhere <laughs> grabbing the rest of the cookies from you. You blink and the plate is empty again. Uh, and I, so I turn around and I was like, all right guys, so this is the plan. This is exactly like, you know, what we did over Bathroom Say that one time. So what we're gonna do is simple. I'll leave you the key. And every time a guard comes to check on you, you replace them with one of ours, okay? Eventually, we'll all be out, they'll be in, you let my out, and it's sorted, okay? Uh, we can't because we are technically on the lamb, and if we let you all out now, we're all in trouble. So, you've got the key. Oh. Yeah, so okay. we got the key. It shouldn't take long. And, you know, if I come back and you guys are still around, who knows? We'll throw a party, overthrow the government. Who knows? Let's go. <laughs> right. that, the, like, the youngest <laughs> one, who's not one of your brothers, who's, yeah. like, someone from the village who's, like, three, four years old, just goes, and then can we commandeer the ship? <laughs> Honestly, if you can, please, please do. Right. <laughs> Starts running around in circles like children do. And I turn to like, floor, I'll turn the to the air. little ones. I'll turn to the little ones. Like, but now remember, this is like a really good game of hide and seek. They're not supposed oh, yes, to find yes. you. Shh, shh. Great. I'm invisible. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Right. Uh, Ma, uh, um, I see you've you know taken care of business here, and you can probably make a lot of friends with your baking as always. Um, oh, yes, I've already got the guard. Oh, he's a lovely man. Yeah, a thanks. lovely man. Yeah, of course. He brought me flour. That's the chocolate good. chips, that was him. That's good, that's good. So, uh, keep going. You guys know what to do. Uh, and I'll see you later. Uh, and and at, yeah, at that, and then, like, all of them in unison just go, we wait for the guards and replace them one by one. Perfect. Uh, and I turned to the young guard. I was like, don't worry. You won't be here for long. We're tricky, but we're not unfair. And, you know, at least you get to sit around uh, and have cookies. My mom's a great baker. He's like, at first, he was really scared that yeah. you were going to, like, murder him yeah. in this cell. Um, and now that he sees that these are genuinely nice people, <laughs> he's kind of excited of being allowed to, like, live again. Yeah. And so he just goes, yes, hello. <laughs> no, no, this honestly, is not good. If you, if you want to go with them uh, once they're out, you're more than welcome. There's plenty of room in our village for anyone who loves baking. I mean, you know, it's, it's a quiet village and you have a lot of fun. You, you'll see. Uh, right. He's Good looking luck. out at like a sea of eyes looking at him like... <laughs> and he's just like... Okay, yeah. but don't tell anyone. No, no, no. Yeah, don't tell anyone. We'll be fine. Uh, here you go. Uh, and I give, uh, like, the oldest of the siblings that are here, I give them the key. And it's like, just don't lose it. Otherwise, you're stuck. Um, Take us the key. Yeah. Can I Can I ask a qu question, Mrs. Flint's mom? Please? Yes, my dear. Why are you all here? Well, you must, you must be Bo, I'm assuming. Yeah? How so, do you... okay. Yep. They came around the village and then they were like, We are looking for this evil swamp girl. And we were like, We've not seen her. We've only seen lovely swamp swamp people. <laughs> and they were like, She is a traitor to this nation. You are harboring fugitives. And then they searched through the whole village and found Nothing, because we hadn't seen you or helped fugitives 
at least not in the last 48 hours. And um, they were like, where did she go? And we didn't know. And then they were like, no, we need results. And so they <laughs> captured all of us in the hope that they would get results. So you guys, the entire village, was taken because of me. They said you murdered a guard. Honestly, you don't need to worry about. They've they've been through worse with me. I like put a hand on Bo's shoulder, <laughs> rub their back. <laughs> they, right. You know I don't judge your friends, but murderers. I didn't. I didn't. Oh no, they're, they're, they're lovely. I don't didn't worry, murder. Ma. Yeah, it was, it's a big misunderstanding. We're on our way to clear it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't think you could murder, but you know. Mm -hmm. You never know with people these days. Uh -huh. I'm gonna just give the second cookie back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't oh. deserve this. <laughs> no, keep it, keep it. No, it's okay. Just hand it to the young kid or whatever instead. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, the plan to get out of here for us is, uh, since you three are as dressed as guards, I'll go back to my normal clothes, so that it looks like you're escorting me to our boat. Once we get to the boat, you get back to your normal clothes and we set off. Deal? Flint, I've really underestimated you. You really, <laughs> really got a brilliant mind in there. I mean, I may not be smart, but I'm not sandy. stupid, so... <laughs> Later, guys! Uh, and I'll head out. And as soon as, like... Ooh. I open the door, I've got that like strict back again, and I'm <laughs> heading like to the closest door and then getting changed there and getting sorted out, <laughs> hopefully. Cool, so you leave the the so guard I, hose on the yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah. I leave I leave cool. my ones on the boat. Cause mm -hmm. I, I got escorted up here and the plan is to have three guards escort me back down and those will be uh Kavik mm. and the other two. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> It's a well-oiled machine. We got her on top of it. <laughs> it was nearly not. Uh, was, that, la that last few rolls there, kind of on the edge. <laughs> I need to change dice. I've, I've worn these ones out. Oh no! Used up the look. They've lost it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So uh, you guys, all four of you, make it out uh, and back onto the boat. But if you don't do anything, they will notice that. There's now four of you on this boat. Can, can we just... No. Is it open top completely? Or is there like a... There's a sleeping quarter, there's, right? There's, like, there's a small cabin on it, yeah. We can just hide in there, right? They're not really expecting much more. Yeah. Throw a yeah. blanket okay. over you. Yeah. Um, I, I full on like set sail and once they're hidden, um, I'll like full on wave goodbye to the boat. It's like, see you soon. <laughs> this was fun. I'll check in on the way back. <laughs> Cool, so you uh, make your way to the other side of uh, like this part of the blockade and then there's like a no man's sea and then there's the other part of the blockade and mm -hmm. you kind of don't know what you're going to be waiting for but Kavik is getting a bit anxious but, at the yeah. idea of dealing with their own like people for the first time in years. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I reckon we should run through the thing again, but this time when you dive down, you take a rucksack with all of the guards' clothes in it. Because if they find the guards' clothes, it's probably an issue. I mean, we can probably just throw that overboard and let them... Oh, I suppose we can, yeah. There's no there's no reason why. And on the way back, it doesn't, I don't think there's any reason for you guys to hide either, so... Yeah, we'll have solved yeah. everything when we're on our way back, so we'll be fine. Exactly, yeah, we'll be fine. Nothing can go wrong. Hi! Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just chilling, eating cookies. Cool, just... so is the plan to hide underneath the boat again? Um, I don't... So, questions, multiple questions. Um, Kavik absolutely <laughs> needs to hide. Gonna <laughs> yeah. probably have to be a bit more evasive with it because waterbenders are more likely to check under the boats and mm. be able to check thoroughly. Um... Do we think I need to hide? Do we think the wanted posters got to the Water Kingdom? 
I, I don't think so, because if you're a traitor to the Earth Kingdom, then obviously the Water Kingdom is going to want you on their side. Considering this feud that they've got going. It's true, but what if they... Because they're definitely not going to be working with the Earth Kingdom, because that's the whole issue why there's this no man see kind of situation. It's because they're not, not in uh, speaking terms right now. Uh, so the two governments would definitely not be working with each other. GM question. Mm -hmm. Would I have any reason to believe that there's anyone in the Northern Water Tribe working with Chen's husband? Assess the situation. I would, like... Yeah. That is... What is it? Creativity. It's a six. I can assess the someone, situation. Someone can like... help. Or you can assess the situation. This is up to you. I feel like I probably know. I definitely idea. cannot help because I had no idea what if anything's going on. <laughs> okay, I can. I guess it, it. I guess it wouldn't be assess the situation. It would be relying on your skills and training because you would have, like, you would have known. This is more a case of do you remember precisely? Yeah. Okay. I'll roll. I'll roll that. That is a eight. What you remember is that these talks have been going on diplomatically for a while. And I mean, you the player know because I've been doing the like end of like credit, post credit scenes, but the you the character doesn't know where the boats are currently, but you know that there's not been contact before. Um, like specifically here at the Northern Water Tribe, but you know that they have been in correspondence with one another for a while. And um, you're not sure specifically um, that they would have shared the information that there's a fugitive because the way they've kind of um, been playing it is that they aren't hiding anything. So if they were like, there's a fugitive because they saw something, mm -hmm. then the Northern Water Tribe probably would have been like, what? why are they a fugitive if they just saw something? Sure. Um, so you don't think that there would have been any exchange of information specifically about Bo, but you know that the Northern Water Tribe know what's coming because they've agreed to this meeting with um, your family. Hmm. So there is a situation in where I try and use my pull and try and trick them to be like, yeah, we like took another boat. I'm here like with that party. We're just coming a little bit early. Getting that is the, it. Getting the, the hotel I, set up, getting everything. Yeah. My, my biggest issue with that is the fact that someone as rich as you and your family would be in a tiny fishing boat with someone mm. like Flint. <laughs> that, that might raise some suspicions. Yeah. You're very right. In a before all this happened, I would never be in a boat like this. Because <laughs> what you can do if you wanted to use your kind of like position of privilege here is that um using your around here somewhere move that you've got, you can try you can roll to see if there is someone like a contact that you would know already here okay if that's something you wanted to do i'm not obviously mm -hmm. do what you want i don't i don't want to be the dm that's like what if you did this <laughs> no do what you want this is just like in case you'd forgotten about that that i will open that as an option for you cool. right now. yeah so that's one option that i put before mm -hmm. the yeah i mean if if you can if you can figure out if you know someone, that would be very handy. Otherwise, I think it might be best if I stay on board. Because I'll be more suspicious of an earthbender. Yeah, Maybe. I guess... Yeah, I guess the only thing is, like... Yeah, hiding Kavik in yeah. a way that the waterbenders won't see. Yeah. I think um, as you're kind of like pondering this, 
uh, Kavik is like, I mean, I'm, you know, I don't want to be more of a bother than I absolutely need to be. You guys have been so kind to me, and uh, I mean, this is if this is as far as I go, then I'll be happy. I brought you here. I can just jump into the water and sink. I can just, I could just sink. No. I could just go. No. 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 You no. have to understand. The deal was. Yeah. We go sort this out, save your sister. That was the deal, and that's the deal we're having. We don't leave people behind, okay? The, no See, one gets... the, the thing is, I don't think they'd recognize me. I, I do look a lot different than I did that's when I left, true. but... I mean, what if they do, and that they don't let you in, and then you can't do your quest, and it's all my fault? Don't worry about it. I mean, we'll, we'll roll with the punches. You just see all what happened. You know, I wasn't expecting my family slash village to be imprisoned, but here we are. We still made it out. We got a plan. We moved along. It's about rolling with the punches. You got this. Don't worry. We all have a complicated past. Mm -hmm. Bo is wanted. I am somewhat wanted. Flint is somewhat wanted. <laughs> You're Don't worry about it. wanted. You're just part of the crew. You're part of the crew. <laughs> Honestly, it would be a little bit weird if you weren't, like, there wasn't some conflict. There. That could be our <laughs> team name, just the Wanted Crew. <laughs> yeah, but um, I think if you stay, do you want to go under the boat, or do you want to just be up front and pretend to be someone else? How different do you look? Can we make you look more different? Mm. I look, I look quite different. It's true because it's been. You said it's been like decades. Different how, like, buffer? Yes. Your hair is probably much longer. Mm -hmm. Much longer. Mm. How okay. about we I mean... put your hair a bit over to your face a bit, go for, like, that emo vibe to hide your face <laughs> oh, even yes. more? You know, I I've was got... never emo. Yeah, here's the perfect Here's the perfect cover, right? So the, we could just say that the two of you are from uh, the Swamps, because one of you is, um, and you were curious about the Northern Water Tribe, uh, and you've, mm -hmm. you know, hired this boat run by two earthbenders to take you across the lake uh, to have a look. A little tourist trip. Question the what? small lake. The yes, small lake the small... that we're currently across. Yeah, yeah, this you know. sea that everyone talks about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess I could be from the swamp. And at that, they like tried to do a whip, like one of those like water <laughs> whips that they do in the swamp, and it just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're from the swamp and not a waterbender. That's, that's okay too. What, yes, yes. What that is could, Kavik that wearing? Could work, I guess. Uh, Kavik is wearing just like Earth Kingdom oh, okay. uh, stuff. It's not. It's not marked by anything apart from the bracelet that has like a, yeah. um, like the beads. Are they wearing they would shoes? Do here. Yes. <laughs> All right, just just take them off to look more swamp peopley. Just take. Oh, them. of no course, shoes. of course. Kevin takes them off and like throw them in the water. Uh, and, and, <laughs> Flint, swamp. Fl I'm from Flint, the swamp. I'm a swamp Flint, guy. Flint goes, all right, so even better. Uh, and he like takes a bit of water from the um, sea, throws it on top of the, the dirt and like sticks his finger in and it turns to mud. Uh, as he like twists it, it starts to twist into mud around and he's like, right, give me a close. <laughs> and he just like starts like wiping his hands by the like, the, the 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 bottom of the the pants, so like it looks like the feet are covered in like dry yep. mud essentially, and he's just like just brushing it, and he's just like right there we go, more convincing. Sure, Kevin is all excited about this. Kevin <laughs> is a waterbender, and so is used to being clean at all times. Yeah, <laughs> and this is like not doing it for them. <laughs> Chen like tries to catch their eye and just give them like a. Stand, I've been, been there. Been there. <laughs> At least it's not Thank you, I, uh, I, I appreciate your, your help. Mm -hmm. We got this, don't worry. We'll, we'll get your sister. Beautiful reunion. Yes. My family will commandeer a ship and then we'll just, you know, go all out. It's going to be great. So I'm supposed to be an earthbender with Flint? I mean, you could be my, uh, you could be the, like the business manager, and you, do, you know, because you, <laughs> you, you see, you see them as like high-value customers, and, and you're the, the tourist guide because you are quite a diplomat. Uh, and I could just be, you know, the, the hand, you know, the, the person giving her help. Fantastic. 
so I don't need to be made to look no, dirtier no, no. You, than I currently no, no, no. am. You, you, you are the business leader. You know, you're the tourist guide. You're the one with the information and connections. Uh, and I'll just be here, you know, rowing. It's not rowing, I suppose. Sailing. Yeah. Go team. Boats. Go, I know boats. go wanted squad. <laughs> As you so is that? Do we have a plan? Do I you think so. Plan? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> the plan. I okay. Might, I might. I might take not the mud, but some of the dirt and rub it on my face, just a little bit, just a, just a little bit okay. of dustiness, and then okay. walk over to Kavik and go, "I'm sorry," and then just. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's. Uh, it's I appreciate you. We're going to a place of all water. You'll be able to get clean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I would recommend yes. cleaning a little bit. Hmm? Just a little bit. Off, off the face, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Because then, you know, you, you, you want some <laughs> attention to be brought to it, but not all the attention, because then they pay attention to the face really heavily. Just, you know, part of the trade. You know, just, you know if you... If you pick which areas you're cleaning off carefully, you can make your cheekbones look great. I was say, <laughs> <contouring>. <laughs> there you go. I mean, wait, are you cleaning it off here to contour? That's so the opposite. Who <laughs> <I don't> know? <laughs> Cut. I know makeup. <laughs> I thought you were putting more on here. I was like, yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, the opposite. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, so as you, uh, as this is kind of happening, uh, the boat has moved along, and you've nearly reached uh, the other side of this like weird bit of sea that is fully empty and like quite silent and a bit weird. Like the atmosphere of it is a bit weird. Um, but nothing happens. But as you move closer and closer and closer, you kind of see agitation on the boats in front of you they're not like um your typical military boats like you had on the earth kingdom side um they are just like what you'd expect from water uh, people boats they know how boats are meant to look like they don't need metal to make them bigger um they're really efficient they look really sleek um and uh but you see like kind of from the front lots of people kind of moving and being like who's this like you just see agitation from a distance and then pretty soon after as you've continued moving forwards you just get like harpooned by five different boats like the basically the five that are right in front of you start launching like a huge harpoon and all of them hit pretty much like breaking down uh, the cabin and then going straight through your entire structure like down to the sea there's water mm. that comes that starts like bubbling up from where you've been harpooned yeah um, i just think it's like oh god damn it wait, th- this wait, is gonna it? cost a lot um and whoa, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just like um grab a bit of my dirt and just like close the the ones that are like causing the most issues like the sinking issues i just close that by like yeah. solidifying rock into the, the sure. gas i push um, all the water out <laughs> Yeah, Kavik is like fully helping you try to like get as much water off the deck as possible, but it's like pierced through. Like mm-hmm. all of the wooden planks are broken oh, all the way yeah. to the bottom. Um, right. This is like full Titanic is happening. No! Um, and like, if you don't do anything, you will be in the water in like five minutes. Can I um, use? Can I just warbend to push us faster so that we're at least going towards them faster so we can maybe get to another boat where we can talk to someone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Go yeah. and uh, rely on your skills and training. It's not the point to fail me now, Dice. <laughs> oh, that one's cogged. Ooh, that is very tasty. What, what am I relying on my skills and talent? Uh, and talent, yes. <laughs> as ta- yeah, yep, yeah, it's talent, <laughs> not training. Um, Ooh, that is a 13. It's not a 12. But 12, or did you no. get a plus two? I got a plus two. Okay. Okay. Uh, you get propelled so fast that they don't even have time to consider you more of a threat. Like, that's how well you do this, like, big push forwards. And at that, like, 
um, everyone sort of like turns around and looks at you because this is the most impressive display of waterbending you've done. And you've essentially waterbended the sea, which is what people have been saying. It's fully impossible. I knew you could do it! I knew you could waterbend the sea! Everyone said it was impossible. I never stopped believing. <laughs> And uh, you get to like one of the boats really fast, and there's uh, like people wearing uh, full like uh, warrior gear on the deck who start like yelling at you, like, Stop, what are you doing? Stop uh, this wait. right now! Try not to sink! You broke the boat! Whoa, whoa! And We're here as, as tourists! We're just traveling! We got approval from the earthbenders! Don't talk! We're waterbenders! Approval from the <laughs> earthbenders! <laughs> Please, Chen. Why? <laughs> Chen. Right, they right. <laughs> Hang on. Basically. That you get, like, you've basically, <laughs> you've projected yourself between two boats. Yeah. And there's harpoons coming in from the, like, basically pinning you down from the other end. And they start pulling your boat up and out from the sea. I think we just let it happen. We need to talk yeah, to them anyway. No, and the yeah, boats... just... I, 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 I just kind of like look really annoyed as we go up, like yeah. looking at the damage and looking around. It's like, kind of come up with a better system, honestly. Same. <laughs> There's Same. tree like on both. So you're basically bang on in the middle between two boats. Mm -hmm. And there's a full army of people lined up on both sides with like weapons ready. Mm -hmm. So why did you have Poonas? Why are you here? Tourism! You could, you could have asked that without the... <laughs> you destroyed our boat so we had to speed up. So we didn't just die. That was very rude. We could have died for no reason. This is a no man's sea. You don't just cross the sea. Why? You... It doesn't belong to anyone. You just said it. Yeah. And I am yes, no man. This belongs to us. <laughs> 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 right? So you could have shot us when we got to your bit. I'm just saying, right? We're tourists. We want... Well, they're tourists. They want to see what the beautiful, beautiful northern water tribe is like. They're swamp people. And I just do a water wave. <laughs> you know, if the big water trick. display back there wasn't... You know, if the big water display wasn't clear, they're water vendors. <laughs> Flint, do a trick. Ooh. Me. <laughs> this is just a lie. You are oh. just lying. Oh, yeah. All the time. I am Constantly. a swamp vendor. <laughs> that yeah. part's true. Uh, ooh. Uh, trick is creativity. Oh, yay. Eight. Cool. Uh, yeah, they kind of believe you, but not... You can tell that, once again, you're not actually I'm an dealing earthbender. with the important person here. And yeah. you're an earthbender <laughs> on an earth ship mm -hmm. with, like, three randos. Yeah. trying to get to the other side um, and so the they kind of look around and get everyone to lower their weapons and uh, basically they like pick a ship I don't know which one do you want me on I guess this one and All right. you see they kind of like gesture to the one mm. that they're on just because it's I'll, I'll like head to the edge of it and then help everyone across um, okay. First, because I'm trying to be the 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 the, 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 guy. <laughs> the hand, yeah, the, the ship hand, not the the leader. So cool. Uh, you kind of uh, bring everyone onto the boat, and uh, immediately they go, "Where are you trying to go?" To the uh, the big city. Yeah. The big city. Yes. Is that not allowed? The capital city. The capital city. The, ca the, the just one. the capital city. <laughs> How'd you write it down? I would know the name. I wouldn't. So I would. I didn't know it last time. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Uh, you're going to Agna Keller. Agna, one word. Kell apostrophe A. Nice. We're going to Agna uh, Keller. <laughs> that one. Hmm. Uh, that you see that like they have a bit of a different structure of organization like the hierarchy isn't quite as triangular as it was for the earth kingdom um 
And so they're all the kind of like looking around and then they go, okay, I guess we'll vote. And uh, they like go look around, pick up like, um, what are they picking up? Like a large thing that makes their voice sound like, like boom as far as possible. And then they go, all in favor of letting these tourists pass through raise your hands and i'm gonna give you an option i'm either gonna roll a dice one to six they're not letting you through seven to twelve they are or you can do something and i'll let you think on that uh to try and influence that vote and that mm -hmm. will add plus ones or minus ones to the dice roll uh, are they asking us any, any more about it or are they just like straight got into a vote? They're like discussing amongst themselves. Okay. Like, oh, so oh, no. oh. Um, I'll like just talk to the people like directly around me. Mm -hmm. It's like, honestly, I just, I thought the Water Tribe thought the Water Tribe is supposed to be like one of the most like beautiful cities in the world. That's what we're curious about, really. See, we at Earth Kingdom, we've got these like wooden structures that we, well, this, these stone structures that we make out of stone. But they're always very rigid. And I was told that you guys make some out of ice that are like way better than ours. So I was really curious to see how you did it. Cookie? And like I, I opened a pouch of cookies that I've got from, from Marge. She's like, ah, they're really tasty. It's still warm. Okay, do uh, either intimidate, trick, or plead, I uh, guess. Depending ooh, on what you're actually going I, for. I will, I will plead and I'll use my uh, roguish charm. Uh, yeah. So I will mark one fatigue and roll with creativity instead. Incredible. One fatigue uh, with creativity, because creativity is a good stat for me. Ooh, ooh boy, ooh boy. Uh, that that is a six. Oh. And can that I is, also be pleased? And that that is with <laughs> with my plus two. No. <laughs> with the plus two. <laughs> Someone can help to get that to a seven. By marking a fatigue. Can I can I do that and just be like, yeah? And I want to see how how you guys do water bending because I just have like swamp stuff and I just do some water bending. <laughs> and that all the ships like on your left go, <laughs> when all the ships on your right go. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is very impressed. Everyone's like, oh wow, look at her. She's, she's water bending like, the sea. She's like twelve. <laughs> she's water bending the sea. <laughs> But yeah, so I took, I took that fatigue to... Yeah. Uh, so that's just going to be a plus one on the dice roll. If someone wants to try something else, you're welcome to. Mm. The only thing I was thinking of would be to also plead, but I feel like we can't do two pleads. You can plead in a, like, in a different way. If you say something else, I'll let you plead again. Oh, okay. Like if you use another argument, I'll let you plead again. Cool. Yeah. I'll... I feel like I don't want to alert them to. That's true. That's fair. That's yeah. We've decided to have it choice. not be me, really. Be. Yeah. And be like, <laughs> yes, like me and my associate, we run, uh, we run a, a company where we take ships on different tourist expeditions, and these wonderful swamp people were really set on going to the Northern Water Tribe, and you know, we've just also heard about the majesty of of the community and and of the city we couldn't say no we had to had to try our luck and 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 hope that you would that you would allow us to go from Kobe and this was the the fastest route roll roll, roll <laughs> okay <laughs> um that is a 10 oh <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a plus three on whenever I get on the dice. Because you'll get plus one for Flint and then plus two because you rolled a ten. Cool. Chen Are we looks good? like a really serious business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chen does look like a serious... Chen like actually looks the part. Chen is the only one on this ship that looks the part. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Nope, but let's go. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all we can okay. do. One to six. I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of all the stuff in there so I can show you. <laughs> so no one can accuse me of cheating. One to six, you're not getting past. Seven to twelve, so you we are. Need to roll you get a plus a, three. 
Yeah, we need to lo roll above a three, basically. So a four and above. Yeah. Yeah. Or wait, does a three pass? No. No, a no. three no. fails. No. So four and above, and okay. we're good. On two dice. Yeah. Those are the <laughs> statistically, I'm you. statistically, we oh should be gosh. good. But. <laughs> Okay, that's a 10. That's okay. a 13. <laughs> 13. It's great. Wait, you couldn't see. I'm showing you again. <laughs> Whoa! That's a 10. That's a lot. These dice have been rolling so well for me. Apart from that one time, my God. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, in that case, uh, it's not even close. Like, after you've said that, words got along. You have you seem like nice, respectable people. Like, you can tell that there has been some sort of movement for the Northern Water Tribe to get a bit more integrated with the rest of the world anyways. And opening it to tourism doesn't sound like a bad idea. Um, especially to swamp people who are waterbenders in their own right as well. Um, and who... Um, like originally were from the water tribes. So they are distant relatives in their minds. And so um, as the vote happens, the sort of person who was leading this whole exchange uh, picks up the big thing again. And uh, what's it called? The thing? Megaphone. Megaphone. I fucking yeah. used that earlier. <laughs> it went away. It's back now. Uh, yeah, just picks up a big megaphone and just goes, all in favour of the tourists. And you see like... Like a good 65% of people put their hand up. All in, not in favour, and in favour of handing them back to the Earth Kingdom. And like a few grumpy people that are like, no, I'm for tradition, I don't like tourism, they're going to ruin everything and destroy our homeland. Um, but this, is, this isn't a dictatorship, this is a democracy, and so uh, basically they kind of look at your boat, go, um... Yeah, can we have some Do you want to borrow one of ours? Yeah. That would be very Thank helpful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can we get our stuff first? Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'd go and, and grab like, my bag as of you're like, <laughs> <laughs> As you're doing, you're doing that, um, you see them like four boats later, uh, kind of getting everyone off that boat so that you can go on it. Thank you so much. I'm just like shaking people's hands or like bowing or whatever and just like Can I like find cool. the the most impressive the, the most impressive looking person or the most important looking person? Yeah, it's probably the guy who Yeah. Can I who's been talking to you? Yeah, and just be like, I have a question. Why Yes. Why does everyone say you can't waterbend the sea? <laughs> it's just it's a folk tale that people think just to people have this thing where they think waterbenders are the least strongest benders and we kind of use that at our advantage now because people underestimate us and then we bend the sea oh so do you want me to tell people that you can't water bend the sea because I mean, i've just been telling we'd them love it if i mean i mean you know it would take more than one person to go against this tale that's been going on that's, for generations. But that's... I mean, we'd appreciate it if you started now to not, you know, advertise that we could bend the sea. I'll just be like, oh, I think they so think it's something to do with the salt heavy, in it. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, cool. I just wanted to check if there wasn't, if you're like, was like a culturally insensitive thing for me to do to water <laughs> bend the sea. <laughs> okay. And at that you see they like raise their shoulder and as they do, like a wave behind them just goes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, cool, that's fine, that's okay. But like once we're like if we're if I do it here, everyone knows that you can water bend the sea, so it's fine, no one will be mad at me. Yep. Okay. Cool. That, that Try work. not to want to bend it too close to cities. We've had destructions in the past. Yeah. No, that's fine. I just wanted to. Yeah, I just want. Yep. Capital just got finished, you know, being remodeled after the fight. Oh, I this know is the type what of fight valuable. you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> the, big, the big attack with the Fire Nation. That, that fight. Well, yes. What other fight? I know what that happened. Yep. 
this is the type of valuable cultural exchange that we really appreciate. It started already, and we haven't even gone to the capital city. Thank you so much. <laughs> and at that, he like points you towards the ship that is now free of people. Goes, there's the ship, uh, capital cities back there, straight ahead at the big rock. Turn left, mm-hmm. and then at the the more iceberg you start seeing, the closer you're getting straight ahead and then you'll see the gates and then maybe they won't let you through i don't know it's not my job all right can i can i make a suggestion so you guys are really strong and you can water band really great right um next time when you're trying to capture a ship just use the water because then you don't have to give away one of your ships at that you see he's like actually pondering what you're saying (laughs) (laughs) he looks around everyone around him is kind of like (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I guess. And, and then, and then, if they're a problem, you hop in the ship and sink them. Well, uh, <coughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll think about that. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Have a great day. Amazing. Uh, cool. So you board uh, this ship, which is just like a regular um, water tribe mm. ship. It's not specifically warlike. There's no like cannons on it or anything. It is just yeah. like a regular ship that people used to go places. But yeah, let's we keep, let's go head to the rock. Set sail. Yeah. <laughs> go team. Kavik, <laughs> Kavik for the first time takes a breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kavik is like. <laughs> okay. Immediately brings like ice cold water. Gets rid of all the dirt. Immediately. <laughs> Can I just search to see if there's any boots on board to give to Calvin? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> just look around, try to find some. I mean, is that the situation for boots? <laughs> <laughs> that is a... God damn it, creativity every time! It's a six. <laughs> <laughs> there's no boots. There are some like kind of gross flip-flops. They've been here a while. Kavik would rather just not wear shoes. I'm sorry. Mm. All right. Uh, would, you, would you rather my flip flops? I can I can wear those ones if you like. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Clint. I think I'll be I'll, I think I'll be okay. All right. And um, as you as you uh, move along and like get to the rock, Kavik uh, turns to you and goes, "I I can't go through the gate. There's there's no way I can't go through the gate." Well, um, yeah, you washed all the dirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Does somebody say dirt? <laughs> Also, what, like, if you go through the gate and then they they decide not to let you in and then you go straight to prison and you don't actually get to see the chief, um, if you want to meet the chief, you gotta, got to, you got to get in another way. Um, Is there another way? I used to... You know how I... Uh, when you in smuggled. In my past... Uh, thank you. When, uh, when I smuggled. Um, We're the only ones I on the would... boat. Why are you whispering? Oh, honestly, <laughs> th- there's no shame here. We've all done crime. Again, we are all <laughs> All criminals. We're all criminals. We, yeah, we, we full on just staged a coup in a sh- in an Earth Kingdom ship. We've all done crime. I respect crime. you for it. I respect you for it. <laughs> <laughs> Kavik goes, um, yeah, there's, um, there's kind of like a network of tunnels under Agna Keller that... You can get to it without being seen. There's like one passageway, and I know that they probably haven't closed it because I was the only one who knows it was there. They closed all the other ones, but that was the ones that people had made. This was made by just erosion, and um, yeah, not many people know about it, but I do. Then yeah, well, let's, we're let's that do one. that then. Brilliant. Um, just so you know, water here is like one to two. Two degrees. Okay, so chilly. Uh huh. Um, mm. question? Clothes. We're all wearing very much Earth Kingdom mm. clothes. I'm not. Am I allowed to mix some for us? I mean. I'm not your parent. Nick from where? Yeah, where, where oh, would you... Once, once we're in the tunnels, no one can see us. I can pop in and out. Oh, sure. Well, that seems like a later problem. First we get into the tunnels. <laughs> Got it. 
<laughs> you're waterbenders, you can get me there. I trust you. Somewhat. Means that Somewhat. all the non waterbenders <laughs> are gonna need to be escorted by waterbenders mm -hmm. who are gonna be able to help us do this hunting. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turns to Chan, <laughs> just like held closely throughout the entire journey. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I just wanted to clarify yeah. that that was what yeah, was going on. Of course, okay. Kavik is just going like a. <laughs> <laughs> the subtlety at this point is gone. <laughs> just ah, oh, I just I really I need to stretch. <laughs> I guess I I'll I stick that. with Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've spent so many months with Bo. Like, it's nice to mix it up. Like, no, I, 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 you know, I totally get it. <laughs> and uh, as the boat kind of gets closer to uh, the city, what you see appearing behind, like a a cliffside, is um, it's fully ice built, and it looks like it's been carved out of just the the cliff the, the the huge ice cap that was here before it's um like on different layers the city has been built in a kind of triangular structure with the the rural palace not palace with the leader at the top is what i'll say <laughs> um with the like the house of the leader stood on the very top there and chief uh, the yeah, chief. It, the chief's house. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, it's, it feels weird to call it a house when this is genuinely like, like a so impressive. It's it's not built like a mansion. It is like huge staircase statues built out of ice um, up the sides, and then you can't see inside. But it, like, it looks like the Northern Water Tribe is like economically rich and like doing well which isn't something you would have fully expected really from what you would know from the northern water tribe um it's it's huge it's miles of carved ice everywhere and uh you see like because you're arriving from the side so instead of going the straight ahead route that you were told Kavik gets you to go around the side and you see the huge gate that guards the entrance to the city and the kind of um, intricate system to let ships actually get into the city that uses um, like water bending to bring ships in, lock them in an area, and then if they've been cleared, they rise the level of the water up so they can get to the second area, etc., etc., until it gets to the main port. Um, and uh, it's so big that you can see that from a distance. Like this is probably one of the world's best guarded cities ever that you're about to break into. <laughs> I, I just kind of look at it and yeah. and go, so where's the secret passageway? Uh, down there. And you see Kavik points like on the side, so where the cliff starts being a cliff again rather than the rest of the city. Fully at the bottom, it looks like there's a small cave that you can see in the distance. I guess let's let's head that way, but act casual about it. We won't speed away. <laughs> just gonna go out. And <laughs> <laughs> just drift, drift towards it. <laughs> drift towards it. We are um, on an official like water tribe boat, which is true. Yeah. incredibly yeah. helpful. <laughs> cool. So did you go through the, the tunnels then? Very nice. Uh, as you get closer to the tunnel, you see like Kava getting ready, like knowing exactly how this goes, um, taking shirt off, putting back on layers that uh, will protect them from the chilliness of the water, um, and like getting ready to just jump. Do they have layers? Do they have extra clothes that we can put on to keep us warm? Yeah, like these are just in the boat because you are in the water uh, dry boat anyways. They have some down oh, there because gotcha. they're used oh. to doing that like they genuinely will check <laughs> under the deck of all the ships that arrive um and to do that they'll go themselves using those uh, clothes so they're not like what you'd expect from human actual real life uh, 
what, what, what's it called? Scuba diving? G- g- Gilly suits? Scuba diving, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it is just an extra layer of protection that protects them from the iciness of the water here. I guess we, yeah, I grab some of put that on as well. Mm-hmm. Cool. You jump in and start swimming all the way to the tunnels. At some point, there's going to be um, a moment where you have to like dive, swim underwater for a bit before you can come back up out, and that will end you within the city. Um, to do that, I am going to get you to roll, rely on your skills and training. I'm and I'll, stay I'll, I'll, I'll definitely I'll make sure that I've got my uh, bag of rock as well. I've solidified yeah. it so that it doesn't like just <laughs> seep just out. Just float away. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, can I like ask Flint if I can have some of his rocks? I'm not used to that kind of bending, but I feel very naked not having anything <laughs> to no, don't helpful worry. at all. When, when the time comes, we can share it. Thank you. I'll just carry it for now. Cause... Yeah. Can I give Kavik the help? help on the roll? Because I'm not really... Am I rolling for my skills and training? I thought we're swimming. Um, yeah, I feel I feel like if you learn how to swim, then... Okay, oh yeah, yes, yeah. swim. I got this is just the, can you dive and actually get to the other side without trouble? And waterbenders will, like, you will, you'll, you've automatically succeeded. I'm getting you to roll because if you get a 12, then you'll be able to get someone else there with you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, three. I got eleven. <laughs> I jump in the water. It's far too cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What did you get, Bo? I got ten. Okay. Fine. Ten is those are the rules <laughs> I made up myself two seconds ago. But uh, ten is meant to be like a better success than just a regular success. So I will let you. I mean, tell me how you save Flint from imminent. Well, I, um, I think I like made sure I was at the back anyway because I knew that Kavik was at the front. So, yeah. You know, make sure you got a water bender on each side, and then when I see Flint just not move and just start shivering, I just <laughs> grab him by the arm, and drag him. Along. Just, just curled up into a like full fetus position, <laughs> just being dragged <laughs> by the leg. <laughs> Also, I can mark a fatigue you... if it makes you feel better about <laughs> allowing the success. No, it's fine. You're gonna need your fatigue. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you immediately, like, you grab Flint and, like, do the little underwater bit, come back up, throw him <laughs> onto the, like, ice, but above water, which is a much more reasonable place to be. And everyone kind of, like, gets out and um, Kavik immediately like water bends all the water away from themselves and looks at you Chen and goes help thank you so much it goes away <laughs> and it does the little <laughs> anime thing of there's like a little star in your hair because it's perfectly back to what it was <laughs> before <laughs> I'm feeling so happy. We were on a real boat five seconds ago. I swam like really gracefully next to Kavik. We went to a city. Nothing. Kavik is very impressed at your swimming skills. (laughs) Flint is just full on, just blue. Just. I'm just like yes. After after just having thrown you onto the ice, I just like get up and like help you stand up and also disperse all the water from you. This is the cleanest that he has been this entire time. It's so uncomfortable. His, his like though. hair is slicked back. His beard is like perfectly like like just perfectly set because of the water that's been like drained to a point. Meanwhile, Trent's okay. talking about varsity bossing to say swimming teams. <laughs> I was actually a national champion. It's true. From fourteen, they really picked me out and. A bunch of gold medals, and yeah, it's no big deal. But like, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's uh, I keep them in my uh, in my trophy room with all the other trophies. <laughs> <laughs> that feels real for Chen, and also deeply embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
incredible. In which case, here's another one of those rolls that I'm going to be doing myself. Um, you've landed pretty much right in the centre of the city. This is a roll. It's luck. It's going to be a straight luck. Zero. I'm not adding anything or removing anything from it. One to six. Someone's there. Seven to twelve. You're on your own. Sounds good. Let's do it. Yeah, Are we happy with that? Yeah. So happy. Hang on. Not at all tense. <laughs> <laughs> That's a three. Ooh. Well, we had such good luck all the way up to here. This is a three. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. But no, it, right it had to happen at some like, point. <laughs> yeah. As you were like removing all the water and like talking about your varsity swimming um an entire family of uh water tribe people walk past this hall which is like a lake in the middle of a park in the middle of the city um and they all kind of stop and look at you and you see they look at each other and then the like tallest kid starts running to one end of the park. Um, can't hit a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I throw a rock. <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 no! I was going to pretend we were just swimming in the lake. <laughs> no, I just wanted to get a reaction out of you. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the scream in unison. That's exactly. That's all I wanted. I don't. I don't actually throw a rock at a kid. I'm a very family-oriented oh person. <laughs> so yes, cool. I just go. Ah, that's going to the bottom of the lake is is pretty nice. Don't you agree? It's just nice. You guys should should go for a swim. I say to the family. It's very it's refreshing. Great down there. Honestly, it's a bit Roll too cold for me. Trick. <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm going to use my protector's burden thing that I was holding so I get an automatic uh, automatic 10 plus. Ooh! Cool. Ooh, uh, wait. About the fam- no, I can't do that. <laughs> it's a 10 plus on any move to defend or protect um, uh, either. Well, you are protect- you're protecting all of us, but not me exclusively. Oh, I'll, I'll roll. It's fine. I get a minus one. It's all good. It's fine. a five? Yep, that's a five. I can't even help. No, there's nothing you can do about a five, unfortunately. Um, They look really anxious that they've stumbled upon this and they know that you're doing something wrong and uh, basically what they're doing is they are physically standing here as to make sure you guys don't run away. And like, not very long afterwards there's guards, like an army of them, coming from all sides of the park, moving in on you. And the one who looks like the leader of that group immediately like stops and is like, come with me. All right. Okay, I didn't know swimming was illegal. I'm sorry. Nobody <laughs> lying. Have a little refreshing <laughs> dip. <laughs> what a refreshing dip we've decided. Yep, no, that's fine by me. Kavik at that point is fully just like looking down. Emo phase. Emo phase. <laughs> Emo plan is in place for Kavik. Um, we're going to cut Flint, Flint, slightly Flint, ahead. Like, Flint just leads, just leads the way. <laughs> uh, we're just going to cut slightly ahead at all of you arriving so you go through all of the little stairs and all of the everything and you arrive um being escorted by just too many guards like there's generally nothing you could do you can't run away they're gonna outrun you they know the terrain more than you do and you get escorted all the way to the chief's uh, house at the very very top of the city and uh, you see the guard um knock like a specific knock um and the chief immediately opens the doors from a distance. It's all ice, so it's all like water bending operated. Um, And the doors like open into a huge massive hall uh, with just a chair and a 
the chief sat at the chair on the other end, and uh, the chief's gonna go, who, who are these people? And uh, the guard is like, we found them at the, the entrance of the secret tunnel, sir. And uh, I turned to Carrick and I'm like, <laughs> through the iceberg. <laughs> secret, secret, secret tunnel. So I had to finish. I had to finish it. <laughs> you had. You had. <laughs> Wait. So this is the chief. This is the chief in front Whoa. of you. Oh. You have oh, on guy here. the chief. Um, he's <laughs> he looks older than he is. You can tell that like. His life hasn't been an easy one trying to lead this tribe. And, um, you know, in a way that like grief ages people, you can tell that he's gone through that as well. Um, and you seem to remember Chen, some story about during the war, his uh, daughter being taken by uh, the Fire Nation or the spirits, you're not really sure, um, but something happened with his daughter and basically she died and you know what you know about him is that he is a kind man but right now he's looking tired like he's looking rough hello okay. there <laughs> thank you thank you so much for 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 seeing my name is song chen and and i i believe you're aware of my family uh coming to the Northern Water Tribe to have some business with, with energy, new, gonna be exchanging some, some new energy ideas. My husband is coming, Ning, but yes. so we, yes. Yes, we're expecting, we're expecting you. So and we, And you we, are? Chen. And at that he's like, no, Flint. he's looking oh. behind you. <laughs> These are I'm friends Flint. of mine. I'm, I'm gonna, would you let them speak for themselves, please? Hmm? Hello, I'm Flint. Just Flint. I go, hi, I'm Bo, and I do some water bending to wave with me. Mm, interesting style. I, I need to talk to you. You need to talk to me? Yeah. No, I don't have time for this. And you are? And no. that, he looks at He looks at Kavik who, at this point, they just kind of square up, remove the emo. <laughs> Kavik of the Northern Water Tribe, I have come back to plead for my forgiveness and free my sister. And as soon as they say that, there's like a shuffle around the room and people start like whispering to one another. And the chief replies, Kavik, uh, the Kavik I knew looked rather different when I banished her. And as he says that, a large bell indicating the arrival of esteemed guests at the oh, outside gate at uh, the outside <laughs> ga outside gates resonates throughout the city. And we cut to the leading boat of the Earth Kingdom fleet passing through these gates, welcome with open arms, people are cheering for them. This signifies the the, the Renaissance of the Northern Water Tribe. This is them reconnecting with the rest of the nations, rebuilding, gaining, finally gaining some sort of financial stability as well. Um, and we look and we can only see how each gate opens for them. They get taken to the next locking chamber, brought up, taken to the next, until they get to the port, dock there. And with this, we will end today's session. Thank you everyone for tuning in once more to the third episode of Blanket Fort. As always, if you would like to know what happens next, please subscribe and we will see you next week. Tell your friends about us, sign up to the Patreon for even more content. So much content <laughs> is on the Patreon. Um, the link is here, maybe. And also in the description <laughs> below, just go check it out. It really does help. Join us next week to find out what awaits our heroes as everything <laughs> comes to a close. Everything <laughs> <more> to tribe. <laughs> 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 <laughs>